Hello people of the internet, I'm not an Englishman, this is not the film directing masterclass and in this video I will talk about why director's vision is one of the most important things to make as a director before shooting a film. Before I begin, I would kindly ask everyone who find these kind of videos useful or just fun to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button as I'm making videos on film directing every week and I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of them. And my life only has purpose when I see people subscribing to my channel. Okay, enough self-promotion, let's get to it! A director's vision is a document that gives anyone reading it a very clear idea of what the film will look like once it's finished. It contains a synopsis of your film, which genre it falls in, a description of your main characters, as well as what kind of performances you ex expect from them, reveals the main themes of the film, uh, gives a visual idea of what the film will look like, so what kind of colors and lighting we can expect, what the camera movement will be like, the editing, and of course, sound and music. The director's vision is probably the most important thing, apart from a good script, that you should have as a filmmaker, especially if you're new and people don't know what to expect from you. Now, imagine you're approaching a producer or a DOP or an actor and you just ramble about the fact that you have this amazing script and you want to make this amazing film out of it. And it's going to look a bit like the taxi driver, but made by the Coen brothers and, well, you'll see how to make it as you go. Now, chances are you might actually get people based on that description who will be willing to invest their time and potentially money in your film, but I would say they're pretty slim and I wouldn't go betting on them. But if you have a director's vision that very clearly states how and why you want your film to look and feel, people will more likely go, oh, this guy or girl seems to know what he's doing. And this way you also give people a chance to see if they either like what you're doing and want to be involved or not. It also pushes you to really think about your film and rethink certain aspects about it, which I think is actually the most important part of creating a director's vision, at least in my case it was. And it's so much easier later on in the process to describe to your cast and crew what you want from them if you have a clear vision about what you want. So before you go pitching anyone for your film, I would strongly suggest to have a very clear director's vision. Well, I guess the easiest way to explain is to just make one. So to make everything easier, I created a director's vision for this occasion and you can download it from the link in the description or maybe it'll pop up here. It's a completely made up film, it's a rubbish story. I mean, every, every film it's made up anyway. Don't judge me, but there's a purpose to it. I mean, not the purpose of it being rubbish, but the purpose of the story anyway. Let's start our director's vision. First and foremost, this is a visual document, and I will be repeating the word visual quite a lot in this video. It's always good if you already have a poster to put it on the first page, it's the first thing anyone sees and it's much more impressive if you're more prepared. If not, try to get an image that represents the film. Also write the title of the film, name of the document, so director's vision, and your name since this is your film. Here, you write the story. <laughs> keep it short and keep it interesting. It's good to tell about any twists and the ending as well, but still keep it a bit mysterious so people will want to read on. So write something that, yeah, will engage people, that, you know, they will make them want to continue reading your document. Stick to the important ones, so main characters and the supporting. I would encourage you to write descriptions for every character that appears in the film, but either make that an appendix or just for the actors playing them. So write down visual description of the character as well as their characteristics. Is there something special about the way they move, the way they talk, anything that you want this character to portray? In the end, add a visual reference to an actor that most resembles this character. Same as for characters, you should describe the places where your film is set. If there's shots in an office, what kind of an office is it? Is there anything different about it? Anything that adds to or contradicts to characters? And why do you want that setting in your film? Again, pop a photo in there for visualization, 
You can use Google Images or stock footage. This is only to give an idea and is considered a private document, so I don't think you really need rights to use photos in there. Will the film look gritty, crisp, bright or saturated with colors? Very important to give as many photos for references as possible. Again, visual. Use shots from other films, photographers or painters you like, maybe photos you took, anything really. Will the look of your film change through the story? Will the beginning be bright and full of close-ups and in the end we'll mainly be looking at dark white shots? Write all this down and again provide visual references. Describe what kind of colors will be predominant. Will you be using practical lighting, which is lighting that is actually on set and can be seen on screen? or only daylight, or do you want the whole track of lights for certain scenes? Different lights give different feelings, as well as colors. Will you have deep, long shadows? Do you want certain faces to be lit darker than others, etc. I know this is the DOP's job, but the more you nail down in your vision, the better. If you already have a DOP, talk to him or her and write it down. What kind of music will you be using? Will you have a score to your film or will you use pre-existing music? Why have you decided for that kind of music and if there's certain type of music that is not immediately recognizable by the reader, you might want to add a link to some samples. What will the sound be like? Really detailed and hearing every whisper and fingers brushing across the skin? Completely mute and only hear the voice of the actors, very loud and over the top. Will you be using Foley or only what you manage to record on set? Will different characters have different sounds? Is there a certain sound a certain character is making when they move? Or do we hear something strange in the back every time this guy is talking? Again, provide references to other films for better understanding. How do you want certain characters to be portrayed? Do you want someone to act a bit over the top? Or you want someone to be very subtle and natural? Are two characters completely opposite and you also want the actors to perform that way? Do you have a certain example of performance in mind? Again, if you think something is really strong, always add a visual example. Which are the main themes in your film? Trust, betrayal, persuasion, physical abuse, following a dream. There might be different themes in different parts of the film as well as with different characters. Write the main ones down and describe how they will work with one another. What camera will you be using? If you're shooting on film, which stock will you be using and why? Are there going to be handheld shots, static shots, very quick camera movements and when and why are they going to occur? Will you be using cranes, dollies or steady cams? This is where you write it. Okay, you don't necessarily need to go in such details as which equipment you will use, but at least provide a reference. I don't know, I want it to look like that scene from Eyes Wide Shut. You know which one I mean. Okay, in a nutshell, that's it. As I mentioned earlier, I wrote a director's vision for the film we've just made up and posted the link in the description. Feel free to use that as a template, if not, just look at it, because it will give you a much clearer idea. Keep in mind that this is a document that will represent your film as well as you and your style. So feel free to make it completely your way, make it fun and interesting, but make sure you do include the important bits. If you have years of experience in creating director's visions, please, please write that down in the comments. I'm pretty sure I left that out, so do comment. Thank you for watching, click the like button if you find it useful or at least entertaining and subscribe if you haven't yet. There's a new video every Monday and you just have one excuse less to make your film. So make it. Now go, shoot, make films.